one boom we are live how's it going everybody welcome back to another geeks and gamers girls stream i am your host krista nova and i am joined by my nerdy home stephanie hello steph how are you hi i'm doing good thank you very much i'm excited to to watch y'all play golf because my switch is being a butt that's fine. We're probably going to switch it up a bit. But yes, we are playing Mario Golf tonight. We have a few people joining us here soon um, in the call. So stay tuned for that. And we also have the goat herself, Seoban. Hello, Siobhan. How are you? <laughs> good. Don't expect me to be good at any of these games. <laughs> That's okay. I'm here to make everybody else look good. Not, none of us are uh, are really good at these games, <laughs> but it's okay. We would try our best. <laughs> uh, and we also have Locked and Loaded Latina. We have Joe. What's up, Joe? Hey, everybody. Hello, She's hello. a panda. She's rocking that panda hat. Yep, yep. She's a panda. And we have a special guest tonight. We didn't think we would get her on, but we got her on. It's a miracle. She's heard of us, and she's like, you know what? I don't care about the men, the men. I just want to talk to the ladies. And so we have the one, the only, Brie Larson! Woo -woo! Hi. Hi, Brie. I'm afraid to turn my camera on because I didn't do my hair. Oh, that's okay. None of us, you know, like, we get it. We, we have those days where we just, our mm -hmm. hair's not done. We got some bed head going on. So it's okay. You can come on camera. Right. I forgot to wax my lip too. Oh, no. Just, listen, they won't catch it. They won't be able to see. Yeah, they won't be able to see that. It'll be yeah, totally they, won't, fine. they won't be able to see it. It's it's all good. It's fine. Oh, uh, see? Yeah, just, Aww, just put on a hat. You'll be okay. Pretty. <laughs> pretty. I get so hairy over the holidays. I don't understand. I think <laughs> it's you... the eggnog. <laughs> Can you show us your feet? I'm also... No, <laughs> please. Right what? now, they they got bandages on there because I've got a terrible corn problem and bunions. Like, they're just rubbing on each other. So, like, they're about to pop. So, I had to go down to the local Rite Aid and get some special, like, uh, band-aids that you put on those things to dissolve them. Oh, my god! So, I got to get ready for the summer. Bathing suit season coming soon. TMI, Brie. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. I think we lost you in the game, Brie. Uh, I'm just going to send you another invite. You know, we just might play... No. We might just play Mario Kart. Now I understand why we haven't played this game in a while. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, we are here. Let me welcome everyone in chat. We got Can Man. What's up, Can Man? Freddy is here. Uh, Freddy was wondering where Jay Lena was the entire time, uh, which is funny. We have Gamer Word. Uh, Chris is here. Gamer Word. I said that already. The Cheese Factor. Welcome, Cheese Factor. Flag Ninja. JM, hello everyone. And we have Rogue Attraction. What up, Rogue? Tom Tom. Hey, Tom. Oh, communication. Is Tom there. the one with that cute little lizard on his shoulder? All right, we're, 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 we're dropping. Hang, for Tom. hang on. Okay. We're dropping Mario Golf and we're switching to Mario Kart. I can't anymore. It's uh. You're getting communication error. Yeah, I think Nintendo's. Yeah, kind of a butt. Nintendo's having an issue tonight, it seems. But we're here. We're yeah. still here. The girls are still here, and if Nintendo doesn't work tonight, we'll just do a panel, and we'll hear more about Bree's feet. Who's that Joe person with the the, the panda hat? I, I'm I'm against that. You hurt animals. You're not supposed to hurt animals. We're women. We're supposed to save the animals, not wear them on our head for decoration. How dare you? <laughs> no, uh, no pandas were hurt in the making of this hat. Don't worry. Please. Wow. Yeah, but all the toxic men out there are gonna see that and want to kill pandas for women. It's not a good look. I'm disgusted. I didn't realize you were an animal rights activist, V. Well, I have dogs over here. They lick my feet after a hard day. They really, like, uh, help me get through. <laughs> so, like, Bree, let me ask you before you get in here on Mario Kart. Um, what do you think about Geeks and Gamers? Ah, oh, dang it. I don't like that Jeremy guy. He always makes videos of me, but I, I understand that he's from Alabama and he's very poor. So I just let him make videos about me so he can make some money and maybe get a new set of jeans. It's the only thing I could think of. So I just let him talk. Nobody likes him anyway. He's ugly. He has boogers on his nose and his breath smells like cheap Dr. Pepper and ham. So yeah. what does oh, cheap could... Dr. Pepper smell like? Sam's Cola. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Gamer Word asks. Uh... Dr. Wham. 
came back from cooking. Dang! Who's that cutie on the bottom and is she single? Oh, uh, how dare you? That's disgusting. You're not supposed to cat call. It's another thing for animals. Like, we don't do that stuff to animals around here. What's wrong with you? Don't cat call. Sorry, Bree. Come at me if you have, like, a million dollars in the bank, you know, and you want to <laughs> take me across the world and... Are you all Why for... Are you all for... Socks. Sorry, those are my teeth. <laughs> I love how you just go on this huge rampage. Uh, are you all for women's rights? Because we, we are don't a have rights. Of... Don't you understand that? Look at that. They put all the women on the channel that nobody cares about. Geeks and gamers live. That's what they think about you women. <laughs> it's terrible. Women have no rights around here. We got to fight for women's rights. We need a woman president. We need women senators. We need women to just rule everything. I think I could lead the charge by making a t-shirt that we could all buy. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, okay, I'm going to do no teams, items, custom. You know what we're going to do, fam? We're going to... We got hard computer. We're going to do all bullets. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's going... Oh <laughs> this is the girl stream, <laughs> but we, we could do whatever we want. But it's only before races, so it's fine. Um, cool. I'm going to try to get in later because I'm getting communication errors. So It must be in the I just turned thing. my switch on. I think it is, yeah. Okay, so Nintendo's run by I, turn, a man. I just turned my switch back on. So, okay, you know what we'll do? Half of it it's will. Like, what the panda hat on? It's her fault. <laughs> he kills animals. Half of it will play. On the chat, B B R J said he killed pandas for you, Bree. I can't even hear you. Your microphone's not even turned up. See what your husband has done? He's turned oh. your mic down so no one can hear you. Bree Larson. So, uh, someone in the chat wrote, sorry, Brie, but Jennifer Lawrence was first. What do you have to say about she that? She was first. Jennifer Lawrence is my hero. She was the first one to invent movies. She was the first one to make <laughs> a perfect turkey at Thanksgiving. She was the first one to make pumpkin pie. I love her to death. Thank you, Jennifer, for opening the door for people like me. <sighs> what on earth were you thinking when you liked Ryan Kennel's tweet? Don't you know who that is? Uh, Ryan Kennel's okay. He's another poor person that just needs something to do with his life. I figure it's just a hobby because he has nothing better to do. He just whines and complains. He's always mad. And, uh, you know, I, I gave him a thrill Gosh. that he can hold on to for the rest of his life. I've been hearing stories that he took that tweet <laughs> and he blew it up and put it at a photo in front of his house for everyone to see when they come <laughs> over. Even though he lives in a double wide, probably down by the river that's probably filled with crickets. <laughs> but that's okay. I gave him a thrill. Let me just go on this long rant. You're really, you're like a woman. All right, let's go! <laughs> Bullets on Baby Park! Who will win? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, dang it, I missed. <laughs> Is it? Oh, well, you're, do you look on, are you on the stream or? Oh, I'm looking at, okay, never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I have to share my screen. Yeah. Oh, this is crazy! A night for $2 says, meow! Woof! No, Ooh, dig it! Baby, breathe Repia with a kiss <laughs> and a beat. Disgusting! <laughs> I can't believe you made those animal sounds. Gross! <laughs> Go to church. <laughs> Yo, this is crazy! Oh my gosh. Oh, thank you, Jim, my mom! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> No, I no, <laughs> no, I <can't. laughs> oh no, I need to catch up with my bullet. Ah! Oh, it looks like Rolo is apologizing to oh, Miss Bree, saying, "I'm so I'll try to turn it up." Joe's mic. Wow, wow. Now that's a man for you. <laughs> Always trying to silence a woman. We also have. If I, I were you, Jojo, I would kick him right in the crotch and yeah. just say, "Hey." Go out and make me some money, bring home some dinner, and rub my feet and my bunions and corns. All right. Ooh, I don't suffer from any bunions and corns. But... <laughs> all right, here's the I thing. I can't list for five. Maybe you're not a hardworking woman after all. Oh, jeez, like no. Wow, Bree. I'm just stating facts here. Us women are like we're we just need to get ahead. <laughs> all right, all right. I want to let the chat know that we're just going to run these four races and then we're going to do a panel. We're going to talk to y'all. We're going to talk to to what uh, to Bree and see what she has to say about her yeah. feet. I've got I've got an itch. I'll be right back. Ew. Oh my god. Don't ask <laughs> where. Where? <laughs> oh. 
Ew, oh! you're, still, you're still here. I think... I'm still here. I just have to go off camera because <laughs> we heard you uh, make a sound while you're scratching. Booty. Ah! Oh, Jason, no! I canalist for five says to add to what Bree and Jeremy. Wait. Whoa. Uh, to add to what Bree said, Jeremy is also bald. What does oh. Bree think of JNAs? <laughs> no, no, my, my thing. <laughs> Believe it or Can not. is good for your hair. I use that as a conditioner. You can put it in all <laughs> hair, all over your body. <laughs> Wherever Why you grow you hair, you put JNAs there. It no. works. Soft. <laughs> it makes the curly cues straight. Trust me. <laughs> oh. It's a dream. Huh? True. Huh? Oh my god, I missed a box. That's gonna suck. Yeah, it's a... I need to get out of the way of these bullets. Oh my gosh. Jeez. You know, I do believe that some women do put mayonnaise in their hair. I hear uh -huh. natural, uh, I thought they do. I thought they use mayonnaise to, like, get rid of a skunk smell. What? Is that what it is? Yeah. That's to me. I've, I've heard... Like, bubble... Like, if you have bubble gum in your hair. Right? Mayonnaise for bubblegum? I thought it was also used to like get rid of like skunk if you're sprayed by a skunk. Mm -mm. I, I, I don't think so. I think you may be thinking about tomato juice. Yeah, Is I it thought it was juice? tomato juice too. Tomato. Metal. I, I thought it was mayonnaise. Ah! Oh my gosh. Dang it. <laughs> I got Yay! hit by seven I bullets. Again! Eight bullets. <laughs> that was fun. I like the bullet. Like tomato that. juice. The chat confirms it's tomato juice. Yeah. That's oh, what okay. I it's tomatoes. The metal. You okay, Jay? I mean, three. <laughs> 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 he always makes those sounds. I mean, she always makes those sounds. Dang it! I have to make sure that she's okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Itchy. <laughs> How Long itchy holiday. are you? I think I gotta get cream. I think you need to get some oh. jayonaise. Make sure you wash your hands after you cream up whatever you're creaming. Washing your hands is what <laughs> men tell you to do. Don't listen to them. I think Jay, uh, sorry, Bree needs to go to the uh, doctor. She sounds like she's got a lot of health issues. I've been to a doctor. I've been to a gynecologist last week. They didn't want to look down there. They said it's like Sleepy Hollow. Something's oh. going on. Oh. Oh. Jayonaise. <laughs> You're the one who said it. <laughs> oh, dang. So ah. Oh, no, I'm scared. Apparently, this is what girls really talk about: their corn on their feet and corn on their feet. <laughs> oh, that was. Gamerward says, "Oh my breathe. God, I'm eating." <laughs> yeah. We apologize. On behalf of Brie Larson. That's of that's Bree. that's. That's what they get for thinking that we were just going to be talking about food. Yeah, that's what you get. It's either food or nasty, crusty, whatever Brie has to say. Eat. Ah! This is chaotic. We have one more race after this. <laughs> Tom says. At least with the bullets, they go by kind of quick. Tom says, Brie, did you get the Joker pregnant? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I am so happy that DC Comics decided <laughs> to have that representation for all the young boys out there that ever wanted to hold a child. Uh huh. It's a beautiful thing. Even though, like, I guess it has something to do with his butt, it doesn't matter. Huh? Birth. <laughs> it's beautiful. Huh? And anyone can do it. Wait, does that mean that the Joker identified? Got it again. Why is Joe so low? I can't hear a word she's saying. You need hearing aids. Oh! Sorry, it's not my fault. I was at a party all week for New Year's Eve. Probably better than what you were doing serving your man, Rolo. Mm. What kind of name is that anyway? He's probably thin and sickly looking. Wow. Okay, so what do you think of Drunk 3PO? Yeah, he's okay. He makes me laugh. Do you think he deserves 100k <laughs> subs? 
it deserves a million. <laughs> he takes on a regular basis. <laughs> Uh -huh. Poor and guy walking chat. through theme parks, got to deal with, got to deal with smelly, sweaty people Jayonaise. twice a week. They even stink in January. It, um... All right, final race. Oh Cameron in the chat says that we were wholesome until Bree showed up. <laughs> Cameron probably doesn't even know what wholesome means to a woman. Whole. I don't even know what it means. What words have whole in them? Whole milk. What? <laughs> That's two words. Yeah, she's right. See, Joe knows the assignment. Whole milk. Wholesome. <laughs> what other words have the word whole, a hole in them? Holy. Holy night. Jamie's pants. Yeah, holy. Pants. Chat can participate. I'm out. Whole grain. <laughs> Whole grain. There you go. Whole wheat. Whole wheat. I don't know about you, but I oh, parted that whole boken one time. Say that again, Zark. <laughs> I didn't catch that. Whole boken. What about it? Whole boken. City that uh -huh. you probably couldn't afford to go. But uh -huh. I'm Brie Larson. I'm Captain Marvel. Black hole. Thank you, Zeal. Hole in <laughs> one. Thank you. There's a lot of holes. <laughs> no, take it. I don't know how long you keep this up. <laughs> the holes? <laughs> ah! Holy moly. Holy moly? Oh. She's done her homework. <laughs> and wow, I won again! All foods. I won all four races. Wow. That's the only time I'll ever win a gold cup. I'm still the worst of the group. Oh, but I didn't get one, get in on one race. Okay. <laughs> Yay! -na 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 <laughs> All right, that was our uh, Mario Kart gameplay that we did. Now we talk to chat. Now we say hello. How everyone doing? All right. Okay. Let me get myself situated here. Let me turn this off. All right. Chris, our seller in the chat says it's whole boken, not whole boken, Brie. There we go. Is that Ooh. a man that said that? Cool. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, um, Steph, would you like to please pull up that picture of the pregnant Joker and also Jay's sure. video of it? Because Jay, what? drunk 3PO, <laughs> I watched his video on the pregnant Joker thing and he <laughs> did Sorry. Bless you. He made me laugh because he was laughing in it. And the way that Jay laughs, he laughs like out of breath. Like, <gasps> like that. <laughs> Every time he laughs. That, that Jay guy, he needs to go see a doctor too. Bree, maybe you should go with him. Oh. What? <laughs> nothing, nothing. Moving on, moving on. What else? I'm not taking a man to the doctor. <laughs> so. They're gonna look at his private parts, his pee pee and wee wee. I don't want to see that stuff. Doesn't need to go to a doctor. I don't want to go to a doctor with a man. You were created by a man. I'm with you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Captain Haruno for the two dollars. Thank you so much. Says, does Bree love to eat, drink, fish, milkshakes? Question mark. I'd like to do that every Tuesday. It's very good for your skin and toenails. Got to keep the toenail glowing. The it toenails. appears to be that everybody is fascinated with my feet. So I have to make sure that they are in prime condition. That's why I always take pictures with them, showing them off. You're welcome, Internet. Speaking of uh, your feet. um, Oh, my. <laughs> yep. There it is. So this was something that shout out to Melanie Beautiful. Mac. <laughs> Melanie Mac told us about on Tuesday night's main event last night. And uh, at first we were like, dang, is this thing real? But we were like going back and forth. I don't think it's real, whatever. But apparently it is real. And this is probably mm. the craziest thing. Uh, and I'm, we've seen a lot of crazy things, but this is probably one of the most crazy things we've seen in a while. Um, 
Yeah. Wow. So, Jay, I mean, uh, Bree, what do you have to uh, say about this? It's a beautiful thing when you see a man giving birth to a child. We need to preach this in all our schools, starting with kindergarten. That's what I think. I'm glad DC took a stand. It's beautiful. Look at that. He gives birth. I read the article. He gives birth <laughs> to a mud baby. Is what they call it. A mud baby. Is that a poop? mud baby? Yeah, I was. I was. <laughs> Isn't that just poop? <laughs> so he's well, not. Some, some of he's... us call it food baby, but he <laughs> says mud baby. In the it's poopy. <laughs> Seriously, it's a mud baby. Actual, like it's not actually real. He's not actually pregnant. The mud baby no, then real. turns Hold into on. a. Let me find a. The mud baby then turns into the Joker, and Joker accepts him as his son, and they have a beautiful relationship. What? Between father and son. Wait, no, it's wait, real. Wait a minute. True. Wait, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Because I don't know anything about DC, Marvel, all that. So that picture right there was that the Joker himself that we know, like the Batman and Joker? Because I don't know anything. So yes. is that? So that's him. Yes. So he gives birth so to a mud baby. And that mud baby turns into a new Joker? Is that what you're saying? It's his son. Is it like a junior? Like a clone? Kind of like certain animals or plants that under duress start reproducing asexually? I don't know how it works. Oh, what was the just, story? It worked. All right, so this is a tweet by uh, Didn't Jane he get Theory. cursed? Look at that. I mean, this is cursed. It has curse where, written where all is over it. it. Where, yeah, it's you a curse. Ready, ready as I'll ever be. So, where is it coming out of? His butthole? Who's watching? What Wait, who was that? It's is... Dr. Phosphorus. I sent uh, the review in the private Is it going to app. hurt? I don't even know where the baby's going to come out from down there. So probably, let's just begin. Push. <laughs> so where did it come out of? <laughs> oh my well. gosh. Came Where did out he come out of? Button. Didn't you guys watch the original man pregnancy movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger? He was the original man, the first yeah, man junior. ever to junior. have a baby, and they had to do a C-section on him. So I call BS on this. That's true. Hmm. Now, is he just having a nightmare, or is it a real thing where it's like a, an actual event happens and the story continues on? Or we don't Is that know. why it came out like like mud because it came out of his pee pee hole? <laughs> hmm. You can you can read the review. I put it in the private chat. <laughs> yeah, I'm taking a look at it right now. I made sure I went ahead and scrolled all the way down to it to figure out kind of at least like a uh, context, I guess, like a backstory. Um. Hang on a minute. Guys, check Twitter really quick. It's gross. Scroll down. Joker, the man who stopped laughing. We all stopped laughing. Is that it? Is that where it's from? Yeah, scroll down. And oh my gosh, that's ew. It's an actual Joker comic. Let's see. Boo, boo, boo. What in the heck did I just read overall? What does it say? So the Joker goes to the hospital and prepares to give birth. Then, get out of here. Then he winds up throwing up a mud monster instead. Throwing? A violent, gut-filled chase commences. But then it is discovered that the mud creature has morphed into a child-sized version of the Joker. The Joker accepts the thing as his son and shows him off to Zatanna taunting her over the family she could never have had with him. So Zatanna was the one that cursed him. Okay. Uh, and so he doesn't actually give birth. It just He throws it up, but he experiences being pregnant. Is that right? Is that what I'm hearing? I mean, this is just ridiculous overall. It has ridiculous written all over it. That guy is not yeah, pregnant. They... He just ate one too many cupcakes. I, I had days like that. All right. <laughs> Your mud baby will be fine. fascinated by the... The washer and dryer ad. Look how perfect that is. True. Are you, are you saying you I like, like a to, good washer and dryer? Are you saying you like to clean Brie? I like to put the uh, washer on spin cycle when I'm home alone. Oh my gosh! What the what heck does that mean? Brie? Is it because you're lonely and you need to hear some sound in the background? Oh. <laughs> 
All right. He's so mean. We're supposed to be on the same team. Captain Haruno for $2, thank you so much, says, look at this awful, in quotation, comic. Ripaverse kills this. Absolutely. Oh, this is yeah, why people sure. are not buying this crap. Uh, and then we have Chris. Like, I always I thought. Oh, go ahead. oh, no, no, go ahead, because we're on the subject. I always thought that, like, they'll, they can never ruin the Joker, right? The Joker is the uh, the best villain. The Joker is an incredible villain, an incredible Batman villain. Um, I love the three Jokers that came out last year. Like, it was such a great comic. Like, they could never ruin the Joker. What the fuck is this? He's my favorite Batman villain, my favorite comic book villain. And what is this? They it, they it's... gave him a baby. They they impregnated well, the Joker. It's well, so I get I get what they're doing, though what in baby? in a way. Not saying that I like it or that I think it's good, but I they the, the Joker's known to be like really fucked up, and he's taunting Santana. So I don't know. Like I said, I don't I don't I don't like it. I don't think this is good, but I get where they're going with it. Can you scroll down or, some like, more? Oh, yeah, sorry. It's okay. So this reviewer says, recommended if nothing could ever stop your addiction to buying comics. You've recommended always... if you always wanted to see the Joker pregnant and trying to give birth. Trying? Yeah, now, trying. here's a question. Is this meant to be kind of woke where it's inclusive of men being no um, or is it being satirical of it because i would find like if i were someone who believed in that i would find this offensive uh, i would right. say neither mm -hmm. i would say neither uh because if you just going by what that the the whole reason he's doing it is to taunt Santana. Yeah, and that's within the Joker's character. Like the Joker taunts, yeah. he always get he tries to get the last laugh. Everything is funny to him. Uh like I could see the Joker not accepting this thing as his child and just like killing it. Like what what are you? Like I, no. I'm not going to give birth to myself. Like I am the Joker, you know? Um I, I don't oh god, it's just stupid. It, what a stupid yeah. story. It, yeah, it's just it's it's just not it's it's just weird. Yeah. So Yeah, I also don't see the Joker having the ability to be paternal. So if in the end Yeah, the exactly. In the end he he's yeah. not he, he doesn't have the ability to be paternal at all. So like at the end for him to accept this mud baby or this uh Joker clone as his own, I, I don't see I that. The only the only toes. time that like uh, he's ever kind of like in his own crazy way been uh, paternal was uh when he took uh one of the bat family and you know turned him into when he took uh who is it um um oh my god i can't remember his name and turned him into like him and harley's like pseudo son but he did that to hurt batman he did that as a joke so it was just like like this i don't i don't get it it's so weird Who's watching him? I'm looking at this picture right here that's up on screen. Who the heck is that? And who the heck is that? I get like a doctor, but I mean, I don't get any of this. Those are the nurses. This has to be a dream, like a nightmare. And then he wakes up and it's Tim it, Drake. Thank you, Chris. And then it, and it goes all away. I don't know. That's like my prediction on it. Yeah, it says it says that it's in a dream sequence. Oh, OK, that makes sense. But I, well, not that it does, but that that is just messed up and i don't think any guy really wants to experience that let's um, ask brie I, oh go Steph, ahead joe was it was it dick uh dick grayson it wasn't who... dick grayson it was tim drake i couldn't remember okay yeah i was like it wasn't damien yeah it was tim drake all right, um, let me get to a few of these super chats. Christopher Assel, thank you so much for the $5. Says, not just the subject matter, but the art is atrocious and sign oh, yeah. of how lazy creative are nowadays. Creatives are nowadays. Right. Thank you. Um, and then yeah, we like, have... Like, look at... Ooh. Huh? Terrible. It just looks terrible. Oh, yeah. Uh, then we have Craig Morning. Thank you so much for the $10. Yeah. 
says, what is this the origin story for the garbage pail kids? Modern entertainment media is dead. Get it a toe tag and put it in the fridge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, again, look, I don't. There's Crocs. Yeah. The, oh, my gosh. Look, there's Crocs. <laughs> yeah. Brie was mentioning that earlier. Uh, Brie. Yeah, Brie wears Crocs. You do, Brie? Are you sponsored by them? Because Crocs pretty much sponsors everyone. Not sponsored, everyone. but Crocs are putting on drag shows across America. They're sponsoring them. I'm very happy of their progressive movement. And they just feel so good <laughs> on my toes, especially the ones with the giant bunion coming out of the left. Ew. I think you like them because they give your corns and bunions a little bit more extra room. Is that right, Brie? I mean, we all deal with it. We all have our own cross to bear. <laughs> Anything to help the pain. Yes. They probably weren't made for you, panda killer. Jeez. Oh, there <laughs> is Drunk 3PO's uh, oh, video. Clown. So let's uh, yeah, let's listen to uh, let's listen, let's to, listen to Jay. Yeah. Hmm. Well, that's it, everyone. Game. You know what I've noticed, Bree? You and Jay are wearing the exact same shirt. That's right. He's a man of adventure. <laughs> over. Oh, it's finally happy. over. It's finally done. You take the world's greatest, arguably one of the world's greatest villains ever to be created. And you put a baby in him. That's right. That's right. That's what you see <laughs> right it. here. That is the Joker in an upcoming comic book. Yep. The Joker is pregnant. Yep. They've done it. They've done it, everyone. Comics are back. Uh, you know, they're making a roaring comeback. <laughs> Man, this is going to fly off the shelves. That's what every parent wants their kids to read. The Joker is going to have a baby. Shout out to Melanie Mack for bringing this yeah. story to our attention on Tuesday night's main event. And Jester Bell who tweeted this out. We're just like, this can't be real. This can't be. It's got to be a meme. You know, it's just, it's just got to be a joke. There's no way. They took the Joker and made him pregnant. But, oh, yes, they did. <laughs> it's laughable at this point. It I is. don't even know. It's just laughable. <laughs> what else can you possibly say? I mean, look at that image. Oh, and we're going to go over a review, a review of this comic book that's coming out that all of you can own. How about that, everyone? You can own Subscribe. a part of history with the Joker being pregnant. Let's check out that's that cool. review. This comes to you from Joker. <laughs> oh you paused it <laughs> how terrible wow the greatest villain is now with his, his mouth pregnant. looks terrible dear god take this video <laughs> down i know i was like Quickly. she paused it at a very like <laughs> like just unpause it really quick joker the man there who stopped go. laughing that's right yeah, well it. we've all stopped laughing at this point and we're all probably crying but here we are that's a good pause. <laughs> no matter where you pause, it always looks bad, huh? Let's see where else how else we can pause him. And what this is That's a good pause. Aw, praying. Yeah, he praying. This praying. is like a multiple story book. It's a multiple story book. You just don't get one story anymore. That's my constipated look. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wait, yours? I thought your name is Bree. I mean <laughs> Uh oh. Are you uh -oh. okay, Bree? Are you okay? <laughs> I'm okay. Just gotta get some tea. Is is your itch done, Bree? It's like it's really <laughs> bad right here. My my forehead is growing. Oh and... my gosh! <laughs> it's Can terrible. It... Oh my goodness! Hang on a minute. I don't even know it's how really to. Really itchy. I haven't washed my hair in three months because I'm trying to go all natural. <laughs> Oh, you're I haven't doing... shaved my pits or my private area. I'm just letting it Okay, we don't need to like know that, wind. Bree. No. TMI. Oh. TMI. Wait, we're all women here. It's okay. No, we don't talk like that. Jeez. Uh, I Jay's can... looking down on you. He's judging you. Can you see him? He's looking Stop right at you. Stop judging me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, having Gun a lot of hair. In the chat says, does Bree have 100,000 followers? Uh, yes, she I do. She does. Actually. I have a lot. Let, let's just go to Bree's channel, actually. Let's see what she's been posting yeah, on there. Let's show you what your YouTube channel looks like. Uh, while Steph searches for that, we have iCandles with the $5. Thank you so much. Says, panda meat is delicious, especially when cooked mm. well done. Disgusting. Why would you eat a bear? 
Yeah. Pandas are cute and cuddly and you can hold them in China and feed them with a baby bottle. Why would you want to eat that? God, disgusting. Yeah, look at that. Whoa, 683,000. Wow. No one from Geeks and Gamers is even close. Look at that. She recently uploaded Let's six see. days ago. What is her Brie up 2022 to? scrapbook, The End of an Era? Hello. Ooh, welcome hello. to my channel. Yes, it's me, your friend Brie. How's 2022 going for you? Let's get back oh, in friend. there. Let's give this channel some life again. I want I'm so hot. To Look crocs. at my crocs. crocs. See, I told you I wear crocs. <laughs> she does wear crocs. <laughs> I told you. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I love them. Uh, there we go. Now the chat can see. Oh my gosh, she's wearing Crocs. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that pause. What a good pause. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I love my Crocs. They're pink. They're perfect. High dive. This is Bree's World. Twenty. Bree's World. Two. <laughs> my my hair looks identical that there than it does here. <laughs> my dog's dead on the couch, but that's okay. Oh my god, I thought you were naked for a second Ooh. in that. <laughs> Oh, you want to see Bree naked? I see. Panda killer. What? Van life? What? Panda killer. You killed a panda. <laughs> Brian asked, are those meth legs? <laughs> <laughs> you got to do what you got to do. <laughs> Keep that Captain Marvel body. <laughs> oh my gosh. Jeez. Van life. Paris. Cheers, YouTube. Ugh. The category uh, is tea. composting. Composting. Oh, yeah, that's about doo doo. Uh, what strokers, excited. baby? What mud is this baby? in the background? You put, you put poo poo <laughs> in a box and then you can put stuff in there. And what? Make it compo <laughs> that's you put not manure. Composting. manure. <laughs> What are you talking about? <laughs> Comp composting. On the stove? Yeah, well, I asked what this is on the stove. Oh, it's uh, a design. Somebody gave it. That was a gift from Mark Hamill. It's beautiful. It's a woman. I don't even know what lady. it is, but I just stuck it back there. It's not a man. It's a woman. Shocker. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's a naked lady. Yeah. I hey, heard up. Uh, president. There's my composting. Why are you hey, so happy about... to see trash? You I'm happy. On this video. How do you feel about human composting? I just heard it was uh, made legal in California and New York. So that when you die, you can be turned into a tree. I've already signed up. I was the first one to do it. I was in line and I'm a champion. So when I when I die and go off to the fairy heaven where I plan on going, they're going to put my body next to the roots of a tree. <laughs> so any animal can come and pee next to me. Ew. So Maybe beautiful. like five years after you pass away, we might be eating you in a salad. I think that's wonderful. <laughs> Enjoy. You started just like me. I'm cooking. Like this is happening. What? Look, I'm cooking. What is that? It's a compost bin. Mix it all up. Ooh, she got mushrooms. Oh. <laughs> Are you uh, into mushrooms, M Bree? Yeah, you can eat them, smoke them, put them in a tea. <laughs> They're great stuff. You seem to know a lot about mushrooms. I rub them on my feet, too. Pretty good. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Nasty. Stop lying, Steph. I know you do it all the time. More mushrooms. Look at my face. I'm so happy. Even <laughs> around my neck, I have a mushroom necklace. Be jealous. <laughs> I just noticed that. Yeah. Would it be jealous? It's like around her hair. Oh. Here we are together. That's that booty. I've been working out life. the gluteus. Let's do it. What is your favorite Britney song? Maybe Overprotected. Overprotected. Ooh. Do you know that song? Can you sing it? I used to be a singer, but uh, I had a career change. So according to my agent, <laughs> I'm not allowed to sing anymore. Oh, okay. Fine. Never had such a good time digging through their own stuff. Yeah. I oh. doubt she takes out the trash. <laughs> I know. She has no idea what's in those I've bins. I've taken out the trash many times. <laughs> How dare you? I doubt you take out the trash yourself. The way she opened it, she's like, eh, All those ew. boxes she opened of the mushrooms, you're just going to throw that away, Brie. Like, you're not putting that in your house. I saw your house. It's just a bunch of women portraits everywhere from the looks of it.
I doubt you're gonna have mushrooms. So I had on Nancy the wall. Pelosi over. We were talking about it, and she gave me the whole rundown on how she takes out her trash. Which uh, is? usually there's a homeless man in California. You just flip him a quarter. They'd be happy to come in and roll that thing out and probably eat half the stuff that's in there. Ugh. And then the garbage man will take it away. <laughs> Look at him clapping for me. Me. What is that? Arm one-handed push-up spree. Sports. Oh my gosh. Bro, take it to every sport. Like, you know what I mean? That was men's sports. Men's. Oh, Look Croc, at my Croc Fridays! Did you see that? Croc Fridays! Where'd it go? Meathaze. Croc Fridays. Look at those Crocs. Wow, Bree. I have 300 on. pair, all with my special bedazzled jewels. I like your bling, or whatever it's called. There's a there's a light bedazzled. on one of them. Yeah. yeah like a flashlight. I, I can't see. So you could take out the trash at night. Like no, you I do. can pick it up and throw it at somebody. It's like a boomerang. <laughs> Captain for Haruno for five dollars says, "Brie really living the life. Why is she like a middle-aged mom falling downhill in life with van life and composting?" And yes, that was on purpose. <laughs> That's how we live in California. Uh, we also have Captain Haruno for two dollars. Thank you. Says totally buying this comic to clean my mud baby. <laughs> mud baby. Mud baby. Goodness. All right, let's see. There's all these people in the chat saying, "Stop! This is terrible. Please stop." We need okay. to do. Uh, we need to do Croc Fridays, Krista. Me, you, yeah. and Joe. Let's do it, Croc Bri, Fridays. You're more than welcome to join us for Croc Fridays, and yeah. if Joe wants to get a pair, um, <laughs> she's more than welcome to. Y'all are corrupted. <laughs> Avengers <laughs> Campus opening at Disneyland Paris. <laughs> Listen, I used to be so against Crocs myself, but then Stephanie bought me a pair, and they were blingy. And I was like, okay, my mind's changed. I didn't know that there was blingy Crocs and that you can personalize it by adding your own pins. Yeah. Blinged out Crocs. I have a pair, but they're just black. But I might have to get a, a pretty pair for you guys. It, it's a Florida thing, okay, to have Crocs. This is something that I've come to learn. And another thing, when I wore my Crocs out in public, I got complimented by a girl wearing Crocs herself. So it's just a thing. It's a Florida thing. <laughs> Gunslinger for five dollars. Brie wears Crocs because her brittle bones would break in regular shoes. There's probably some truth to that. <laughs> I only drink milk from alpacas. Wait, is that the Marvel? What was your... that? Yeah, on a yacht. The Avengers. Oh my god! Paris. Here's my helicopter. Crash. Just showing us that. Flight how... Force Disneyland ride. Have you been on that ride? I don't ride rides bad for my my feet? figure completely. You're featured in it. Look, that's you. <laughs> Your feet. CGI Shining. does wonders. Getting cast in Fast X. Oh my god, do you see her right there jumping up yeah. and down? Ooh. I'm not looking forward to that. I love the Fast and Furious movies. She's going to be in Fast X. Rogue Attraction in the chat says, not all of us wear Crocs. It's a cult. How dare you? I see what's on your toes. Wow. <laughs> you wear those toe shoes. Gross. Oh, that's right. It fun does. guy all over it. Yeah. I wonder but how I they feel. I thought you liked guy. That's her grandpa. You have a cute grandpa. Grandpa. He's actually an actor. My grandpa's been dead for 20 years. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Terrible. Look, that looks like Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy Why does went it on a diet? Diet? <laughs> What the heck? Why does that look like Jeremy for real? <laughs> what? what? Hang on. Uh, don't don't play it. I have to take a picture of that. Look at look. Wait, wait, wait no, go back. Go Jeremy. back. <laughs> wait, it's here. Oh, oh my shoot. gosh. That's crazy. It's here we Jeremy. Go. Thank you. Whoa! <laughs> That's insane. I wonder if Woody Harrelson uh, wears uh, holy jeans as well. Because he seems to be the same kind of style as Jeremy. <laughs> that is insane. Yeah. If it's blurry like this, it looks like Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> Someone needs to put Jeremy's picture right there. 
gosh. The shirt and the hat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Come to you with another video. It's like a montage. What is this? The end of an era. What does that even mean? Let's just watch this whole video through. Okay. Mm -hmm. The chicks. Of course. Look at her. Pull up. Pull up. Oh, she's flipping. She did it like once and that's it for the video. <laughs> wow. What? I could have my own Bo Burnham inside special. I'm super curious um, Mom? to learn what you learned in this last year because I think there's a lot of knowledge in all of us and I'd love to share. As always, I hope you feel happy and safe. Oh, her feet. Do you guys feel happy and safe in your bodies, guys? Oh, in your bodies? Is that what she said? I That's didn't what she get said. the last part. Yeah. Hey, Brie, how long did it take you to edit this video? Feet. Feet, feet, feet. Uh, so long. I, I didn't do it. <laughs> Shocker. Um, <laughs> who did? I didn't even know it was uploaded till you, till you ladies showed me. <laughs> oh. Oh, goodness. Oh, uh, wow. What other videos do you have on there, Brie? Is this, this is your latest posted a week ago, I think. But I'm curious to see, like, do you have anything educational? Uh, oh, look. Uh, I made tacos. Have... Where? You made tacos? Let's see how you make tacos. I'll judge it. Hello, and welcome back. Oh, you had a helper. Never mind. Channel. Yeah, you're not making tacos. Your helper is. Yeah. So today, we are going to be following up. A video about my friend. <laughs> She's look, looking at him like, right, right. We're gonna, you're gonna help me. Incredibly delicious. But that actually looks pretty good though. Different times. So here we are tacos. together in the kitchen in real life, and we're gonna be taking on another challenge. I know that Joshua has a very. Deep this is Josh. He was looking at. He was working at the local pizzeria, and I needed somebody that would stand in for some reason. Nobody would come and be in my video. So here we go. Today we're. So I hired Josh for the hour. Favorite. It's from my childhood. It's a little stinky. Day, the Jack in the Box taco. <laughs> They're making a Jack in the Box taco? Let's do it. Oh, there's someone I know named Jay who had Jack in the Box for the first time. Lettuce. It didn't end well. Gross. And they have like a little bit of sort of uh -oh. sauce. You do the beef. So let's get that pan on medium high. Mm -hmm. It's like, what? A pan? Did, did he have to turn it on for her? She okay, didn't turn that's, it on. So this that's a pot. Something? Yeah, right. why are they making the beef Something in the pot? Right here, right away. Oh. oh, sound effects, sound effects, quickly. What we really want to do is render the fat out and get some color on it. That's, okay. that's really what we're going for. So They're lettuce. cooking so beef in the pot. He's like, get the pan. She pulls out a like pot. That, that yeah, I don't know who the hell does that. It's kind of like, floppy. Yeah. You want it crisp, crunchy, nice. That's right. So while Heck. you're going in on that, I'm she probably didn't have a pan because she doesn't cook. Just along the end. It has. Look, there's his cheek. So I know, it's so sweet. What? And I'm gonna take his cheek and just... <laughs> no, just. I'm sorry. One thing I noticed about their meat is it's very fine. It's yes. very sort of like almost like a paste. Yes. It's just kind of. Yeah, weird. you can it's tell that she doesn't cook. Yes. Paste. Yes. Like we'll she's never watched a cooking like, channel. She's like, whoa, the way you're paste. cutting. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get that sort of paste <laughs> I know. going. Oh, well, you never <laughs> seen cooks up, do that. Get super crisp, and then while it's crisp and all the fats rendered out, then we'll add the spices, and that's gonna toast with the fat yes. i also have a fun technique for when that starts to really solidify mm -hmm. a potato masher works very well <gasps> mind blown what wow this is how you cook by hand yeah. just mash i'm cooking, cooking right now sure. let's add a little bit of salt look at me i'm relatable cook with salt you know what's your favorite like soul food like southern comfort soul food you've ever had Comfort soul food. I mean, I love. A, yeah. I love a biscuit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love a biscuit. All the way. Are you talking South Carolina? That, that's all she could come up with? A biscuit? Uh, yes. She doesn't oh, know. She didn't even say biscuits and gravy. She just said a biscuit. Uh, a rib. Just a rib. one. A rib. Just one. Just one rib. One and done. That's what I like to call it. Yep. Oh my gosh. There we go. A little tomato. She's like, whatever my oh, chef makes okay. for me. Heavy tomato. <laughs> is she even really yes, cooking? Man. Like, he's literally I'm doing everything for her. Just good. stir, Brie. Just, just stir. Get your garlic <laughs> for you. So, garlic. It's just one clove. I'm going really light with the garlic here. So, I'm just doing one single clove. Then I'm going to chop. By the way, fun technique is I smash the clove. Then you know, like those news anchors who bring on chefs? For yeah. Like, I don't know. 
something. That's yeah. basically what she's doing. Yeah, she's like, just wow, like, no I'm way. I'm just going to stir in the bowl and watch you cook. And we're just going to mm -hmm. add our spices. We've got a little bit of cinnamon. Cinnamon? Tiny, tiny, tiny little bit. A little bit of... Dude is holding She's like, I've never had spices room. on my food. A little food. bit of garlic powder. Yes, the I know MCU. we're adding two forms of garlic. Mm. A little bit of onion powder. Mm -hmm. onion. 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 Who says onion. it like that? Onion. 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 I'm gonna start that, saying it like that. Onion. Onion. Sounds like a Pokemon. Look, he took over. Cool yeah, he's like, right. remove it away. He's like, Thanks you're just guys. in my way. Boom. Yeah, he's like, get out of here. Like, just a bit of nature in there. A little nature. A bit of a nature. Bit of That's what she calls her spices. Yeah. <laughs> a little very Taco Bell right bit now. Bit of nature. Okay. Got some chicken broth, beef broth, no. whatever, vegetable broth. That's gonna she go in. She said no. Yeah, yeah she's, she's like, ever heard of beef broth? I can't believe it. I feel like you just messed it up. Sometimes you have to Wow. To make them good. Right, happy right? little accident. Happy little accident. Right. right, exactly. Very, uh, who's the artist? I can't remember. Bob Ross. Bob Ross. Yeah. So this is going to simmer for 17 about... hours. Well, 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 well. This is going to turn yeah, she's never cooked. carbon if you let us see <laughs> This is going to simmer for about 30 to 45 minutes. All of that liquid. She literally said, okay, whoa, whoa, pause right. really quick. Pause really quick. I thought that yeah, was a joke. Boiling. She literally said 17 hours in that little pot. Do you think, how long is yeah. this going to cook? 17 hours? Like, she answered that really fast. Oh, my gosh. Look at her eyes. Look at her being eyes. serious, too. 17 hours. 17 like. hours. He's like, uh, <laughs> all right, okay. <laughs> oh, my gosh. How dare she let this man mansplain to her? Yes, to probably. She's trying to hold her cool. But 17 hours? <laughs> Woman, what are you on? What are you That's not so on? dumb. Anyway, continue this weird. Bring this thing down, if you don't mind adding this. Garlic for me. I'll put it in here for you. Wait, he said, do you Plus mind adding this for me? He had to right, put it in the bowl yeah. just so she could... <laughs> it's I big. cooked. Is that how it is? Whenever you eat something, you're like, it goes in and you're like, oh, I know. This. Yeah. It's the ego. God, he's like, I've had enough. Yeah. This is so crazy. Where's his face? Where's his face? Yeah. Life. The ego's just like what popping off life. for the cheese. <laughs> So instead of grating it, they actually There's do a, a slice. Here. I know. <laughs> what is this? Oh my gosh! It is for dramatic effect. Wow. I, it's me the chef my left the grainer for you. So they're kind of like little rectangles, right? And I think we do three of these for taco, or two actually. We'll do two. So will you get me one more of those slices? I'm gonna temp check our oil, make sure we're good to go, which I, I'm almost. Did I do it are. right? So I've got a tortilla. Yeah. Lay that down. Let's find a better one. Oh my gosh. Oh. You pointed out Ugh. that they kind of, kind of press it. they seem like they press it. So what they do is these are already pre-filled, right? And notice how it breaks, yeah. right? You can't use it if it's broken. Yeah. So I'm starting to wonder if she's ever take cooked the in her whole life. I know. Probably not. I like how it's like, take the perfect one, then let's break it. So that goes no. in really quickly. You're just kind of brushing uh, it. What no. It does is you can fry a tortilla partially. It softens the no. tortilla for you. So Whoa. that goes down. Okay. So now it's flexible. That goes dead there. You know, they <laughs> why is she, why is she like so shocked? shocked? Which I didn't know. Crack it open and then put like the lettuce and stuff in. That's right. Yeah, that makes sense. So look, you almost have that pocket. You can almost yeah. start to see it just like you usually do. In order to get it to stay, they have these weird fryers that they drop in like, and there's no. a trigger on it and they pull the trigger and- What's a fryer? <laughs> well, we don't have one of those, but yeah. what we do have the good old fashioned toothpick. Wow. Also known as oh my god, a toothpick! Wow, it's wow. a toothpick! Wow. But of course. Carefully and daintily, mm -hmm. I'll uh, break this in half and just poke it through the top. That's gonna carefully go in there. It's gonna Look at her eyes. splutter a little. Oh my god! What a satisfying sound. Right? How long do you think? I go until it, the outside of the frying starts to calm down, which it already is. Yeah. <laughs> so I think we take it out now. Drain it that direction. That's juice from the beef. Pop it over here. Oh, yes. Okay. That was like 60 seconds. Yeah, really fast. 60 yeah. seconds. Super, super fast. The beauty is yes. it's crunchy, but it's feel here. So a little bit of... There's a little give. There's a little give. What's that? Could that so be so a, you, a little... you can open it? Is, that, is this your opportunity? See your opportunity and take it? And then we're going to slot oh in... Oh, my gosh. Slot in our cheese. Drop it in. Drop it in. Lovely. A little bit of lettuce. Steph, is this how you make mm. uh, top? your tacos? Mm -hmm. Who might have cut no. the cheese? I don't think that's fine. Yeah. I'm happy about it. That's it? <gasps> no, that oh my gosh. You're kidding. It's hot though. You're you know kidding. Like this is food? <laughs> oh shit, Jesus. Jesus. Mm. Mouth of steel. I do. 
Wow. Have we summoned Jack in the Box? It's so good. Yes. As someone who is a connoisseur of the taco, I am very... How is she a connoisseur, connoisseur of any taco? Of taco? She didn't know anything. I know. She's a connoisseur of the taco, but was like totally shocked at <laughs> mi- how to make yeah, meat yeah. and beef. You know what you could do? What? Gosh. Dip it in the, you could dip it, fry it, take it out, let it cool, drain it, pat it dry. Captain right? Haruna. I, I was just about to make a really perverted joke. <laughs> Go for it. Taco. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I was going to... Oh, as a connoisseur <laughs> of the taco. Ha ha. I just got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And then they're really good. Thank you. Thank you. Siobhan is also a connoisseur of the taco. Yes. All right, I had enough of uh Brie videos. Bro, uh, she's terrible. We can go back to panel. Um like and subscribe first, then wash your hands. Okay. Captain so there you go. For five dollars said Joe, Steph, are we really going to let him get away with cinnamon tacos? Our people are crying tears of blood after hearing that or getting it, the chancla. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't mind those uh, those seasonings. I don't mind that. Um, I would have used um, um, cumin. Yeah, I was going to say he's missing cumin. Yeah. Missing so do cumin. you guys, ha- like, how do you make your tacos then? Like, what do you do when you want to eat tacos at home? Do you make it like homemade homemade or some of it is like bought from the store and stuff some of it's bought from the, like the taco shells are bought from the store okay and, and the then meat. if they're if they're soft tacos then i uh i do what he does actually i kind of soft fry them a little bit mm-hmm. so that they won't break when you put the food in it when you put the ingredients in it but the hard tacos i'll uh I'll stick them in the oven for a little while so they're not like super hard and thick. Mm. That way they have like that little bit of a crunch. But yeah, just put ingredients in. And what kind of seasoning do you use though. for the meat? Onion? Um, I use cumin, salt, and pepper. I use onions uh, and sometimes uh, chili flakes, like red peppers. Oh, those are flakes. good. I put that on my pasta. Like whenever I have pasta, I put chili flakes on it. Like, I use, I put chili flakes on almost everything because I like everything to have like a little bit of a bite. Yeah, I and, use chili flakes a lot. I know some people aren't down with spicy or hot, but I, I'm all about that. What about you, yeah. Bree? Well, you saw in the video that's how I like my tacos. But do you like spicy food? Ah, uh, no, because I get gassy. Ew, <laughs> you're very sensitive, Bree. I don't want to be in the Captain Marvel outfit, and all of a sudden, toot. <laughs> what? Toot. Toot. Uh, little known fact. So, um, I have Jay's name in my phone under Toot. <laughs> so every time oh, I get a text, own? it's like Ding! Toot. Toot texted you. And then when I, I had... forgot to say <laughs> onion, onion, she did. onion, onion. Yeah, I said that earlier. Onion. I was like onion, but I think you were like too busy thinking. <laughs> uh. Yeah, so then <laughs> I just tell Cyrus, I'm like, call Toot. Calling Toot. <laughs> that was a good impression. Calling Toot. Yeah, S- Cyrus. Calling Toot. Calling Toot. How do you cook your tacos, Joe? Well, I am a vegetarian, so I... Oh, that's I right. It. I forgot. <laughs> that's why I didn't even ask. They have, like, vegetarian meat for tacos. Yes. yes have I you had that? Yeah, I use it all the time. I love making tacos at home. So I pretty much use very similar spices. I do have to because a lot of the vegetarian fake stuff doesn't have much taste to it. So I add uh, some uh, better than bouillon in beef broth flavor. And then uh, throw some cumin in there, onion, and some salt and pepper. And then put tomato paste in it to kind of give it a little Mm. bit of juice because it doesn't have any juice. And then kind of simmer it for a little bit and then it's good to go. What about like breakfast sort of uh, tacos or burritos? Like, do you like that with egg without the meat? Oh my God, yes. Um, yes, I do love me a breakfast taco or a breakfast burrito. Uh, Roland and I lovingly call ourselves the breakfast burritos. So. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> I mean, I have yet to meet an egg I didn't love. So I'll eat eggs in all forms. So throw all forms on there, throw in a tortilla. Yeah. Ooh, so what's Sorry, your ladies, I have to go. All this talking about beans makes me got to go to bathroom. And uh, <laughs> thanks for the invite, Crystal and yeah. uh, Steph, whatever. Uh, Siobhan didn't say anything, but I like a little goat <laughs> thing. I hope she doesn't eat goats. And uh, <laughs> the panda girl. They're my there. friends. She's got a nice smile. Everything is good. So have a lovely stream, ladies. Thank you. I have to go. Take and, care. Uh, 
Bye. I gotta take care of this mess right here. <laughs> all right, I turned my mic up all the way it'll go. Is that any better? Love y'all. Peace out. I like how she kept her... I like how uh, Brie kept, you know, her hair in place even when she was off camera. I want to make a uh, comment on this. So, O Snake says, Today I learned Chris says pasta like pasta. Or, sorry, pasta. Dang Canadians. So, it's not a Canadian thing. It's actually an Italian thing. Mangia la pasta. So, yeah. Pasta. Do you say mozzarella like mozzarella? Like, no. <laughs> um, there's that, that one Italian uh, TV cook that says it like that. Do you know mozzarella? Uh, yeah. No. No, I don't say it like that. I just say mozzarella. I just, I just her, her name is like Giaconda or something like that. Some kind of like what Steph argues with with Ryan. Like I put certain like emphasis on the words or say it like in an Italian form. What's funny is that yeah. my grandmother, uh, she tried to learn English as much as she could, but she just really couldn't. And she would take English words and kind of turn them into Italian words. <laughs> like she would call hot dog la dog. <laughs> la dog. <laughs> la dog. <laughs> I'm like, what? That's not how you say hot That's dog. Cute. Yeah. So like she would try to take like English words and she's like, look, I'm speaking English. I'm like, no, you're not. No, you're not. Um, That's cute. Yes. Yeah. My grandma could she speak like, broken English. My grandpa didn't speak English at all. He was all uh, Spanish. Mm. Yeah. I, well, for me, you guys already know my story. It's just I had to grow up speaking like four different languages. So I was just confused nonetheless. Um, <laughs> But gosh, I love how like these streams always end or turn into like food talk. I know. I blame Brie. Yeah, Brie had. Well, I mean, I wanted to see how she made tacos, but we came to find that she doesn't make tacos, which is not a she shock. Just but she's a but she's a connoisseur. Yes, that's true. She's a connoisseur. That's <laughs> she likes to watch others cook and make her tacos. Yeah, pretty much. And then they. Well, just, she's, well, she I goes, can't be mad at them. <laughs> Dark Ray in the chat wants to know how you say fettuccine, no, uh, Krista. Fettuccine. Fettuccine. It's weird because, like, it depends on who the heck I'm talking to. Does that make sense? Like, if I'm talking to my mom, mm -hmm. I'm like, Ma, I need the fettuccine. But if I'm talking to you guys, I'm like, fettuccine. <laughs> yeah. See, that's, that's, what I, that, that's what I do. Like, it depends on who I'm around and who I'm with. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like, we all have, like, our ways of talking with people, you know, like, family, friends, yeah. and, like, words to help them understand. And I'm big with that because, like, my family, especially because they're immigrants, and they're, like, certain words, like, I have to, like, tell them, like, no, it's this way and not that way because that's why even for me, sometimes people would correct me with the way I speak in English, you know, like, certain words and stuff. They're like, no. In fact, before the stream started, I asked Siobhan, I was like, is it cartilage i was referring to a a uh game she's like no that's on your ear i was like oh i was trying to say uh what's the word i already forgot it Car what's that game that like cartridge cartridge, cartridge? thank you yes i yeah, said cartridge <laughs> i said cartilage so yeah uh, i noticed that my parents do the same thing and sometimes i have to correct them and they get mad at me that i'm correcting them because they they love to believe they're always right um <laughs> i don't know if that's an italian thing or an old generation thing but yeah um they're well, great. Sometimes I'll I'll never have heard a word in English, but I'll have read it because I read a lot. So then I'll say the word as I have imagined it sounds, and it's always wrong. And Rolo's always like, that's not how you pronounce it. So <laughs> that happens to me a lot. It's crazy. And with my family too, at least like my mom, sometimes it's like talking to each other. We have to kind of like, not yell, but it's like the tone of our voice has to be like a certain way. Like, let's say if I'm just mm -hmm. talking calmly, like, oh, that's okay, Ma. Yeah, it's fine. She's like, what's wrong with you? What's wrong? I'm like, nothing. Nothing's wrong. Like, I have to respond like that way. She's like, oh, okay, okay. Like, Italians, it's like, you yeah. have to be very aggressive. Like, or else, like, they're like, whoa, what's wrong? You sick? And it's like, no, I'm not. Yeah, see, my mom's not aggressive, but, like, she's very loud. Like, yeah, very, my mom very too. loud. I'm very so, loud. I'm so much softer, you know, when I, whenever I talk, like, but my mom's really loud. She always thinks, like, what's wrong? Are you okay? Something wrong? It's like, no. It's the tone. Always. Like, all the time. She's always asking me if something's wrong just because I, I talk very low. Yeah. Um, Speak and up. Like my, all of my aunts, my grandma, like, put them all in a room together. You can't get a word in. Like, they're very loud and they talk over each other, but they're all having, like, the same conversation. It's insane. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. My Rolo mom. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. No, I was going to say, Rolo is actually like that. So I'm, I've told him many times that I think I'm going deaf. 
on the side that he sits on because of how loud he is. <laughs> he is pretty loud now that I, yeah, yeah. Now, he is pretty loud now that I think about it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was gonna say um, that my mom is so freaking loud. Like I remember uh, we were at Walmart together, and uh, she was call. I was in the toy aisle. She was in the food aisle, and I hear her calling my name from afar, just like Krista, Krista. <laughs> I'm like, I turn to the guy next to me, and he's just looking at me like, like, do you hear this? I'm like, I went to go find her. I was like, Ma, you have a phone. Call me. Like, what are you doing screaming my <laughs> name out in the open? That is, I don't understand you. She's like, what? What's wrong? And I was like, ugh. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. It's so funny. You can always find my parents in the store. My mom is so loud. She'll be, same thing. She'll be in the next aisle. It's like, she'll call my dad. Yeah. Who's somewhere else. And I'm just like, oh, my God. We're not at home. We're not at home. Yeah, we're not at home. You can't, you can't act do like that. that. <laughs> and my mom um, speaks her mind, like, like you know how like in your head you're like oh my gosh i can't believe that woman did that that's wrong like you shouldn't be doing that she'll she'll tell you like without even like trying to like tell you does that make sense because it's like she doesn't say anything in her head it's like she says it out loud so she's not thinking it she's saying it she'll be like oh my gosh look what this woman's doing i'm like she she can hear you she yeah can there's hear just you. no filter no filter thank you yeah and i'm the yeah. opposite of my mom like she's very loud and like like but she's amazing of course but like you know loud mm -hmm. typical italian uh speaks her mind really tough and just like boom and then there's me and i'm just like a softy and i'm like <laughs> <laughs> uh chris zach hammond wants to know what region of italy is your family from uh so my dad is from rome and my mom is from sicily so i'm half crazy <laughs> sicily i can't list for five says my native language is cheese Ooh, cheese. I want to be that. Lucky you. Blabs is in the chat. What's up, Blabs? What up, what up, what up? Captain Haruna for $2 says, I say chef boy or D's. Because <laughs> I can't spell that mess. Do you chef... like chef boy or D? Me? Yeah. Uh, I don't even think I've ever tried it. It looks like slop. It's not good. It's not good. Mm, I, I like I'd the met... spaghetti cans. Ugh. I used to eat that in college. I used to eat it in college, the spaghetti can. That and ramen. Oh, my gosh. I don't really eat anything yeah. in a can. I try to avoid that, like, the plague. And it's mainly <laughs> it's mainly just because of, like, you know, health reasons. Like, I'm just like, I, I don't trust food that could be sent off to space and just survive. Like, I, I don't like that. I, I like I to eat fresh. It's the only thing in a can. Yeah, it's the only thing in a can that I've ever had. So have you ever... Um had something as a child and then like remember it with this nostalgia like oh my god that was so good and then have it again when you're an adult and it's disgusting so that happened to me with chef boyardee like i really loved the little and that wasn't chef maybe it was the little spaghettios with the cheese tomato sauce Ugh. i had it as a kid and then i tried it recently and it's awful Ooh. yeah see like i make uh... the fresh version of that which is really in your pasta sauce oh yeah and I know it's not for everyone, but I personally do. Um, but uh, but I make like different types of uh, sauces. But like the kind of spaghettios, I I can make that homemade easy. I'll have you guys try it. Ooh yay! I'm trying to think if there's anything. I think like um, probably cereal. Like I used to like Apple Jacks, and I don't like Apple Jacks anymore. I'm trying to think myself. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, when I was a kid, I was a very picky eater, but I feel like that's how kids are generally. Um, but then when I got older, of course, my palate expanded and I grew out of that. Um, and now I'm just, yeah. I'm open to whatever. But one thing I remember eating a lot as a kid, because again, kids are picky eaters. And a long time ago, I don't know if you guys were this way, but I wasn't a big fan of sauce. And what I mean by that is like, you know, when you had like a tortilla chip and you would dip it in, uh, uh, let's say like salsa. Back then as a kid, you just like do a little dunk like, boop, but now it's like you scoop it up. Yeah. Right. Um, and the, I was the same way with like pasta. Oh, yeah. Because like, all the mm -hmm, chunky stuff. Mm -hmm, the chunk, the chunky chunk in like, yeah. but now it's like I a gimme. nieces and nephews are like that. Like they'll eat spaghetti with no sauce they don't want sauce on anything or light, they, they like mm. like like yeah or like um like their burgers like no ketchup or mustard just a dry burger like they don't want any sauce <laughs> it's anything. like jeremy jeremy 
<laughs> oh my gosh like if oh my gosh like his diet is crazy especially like his burger so i went to in and out for the first time with him ryan and you and yeah and um i was like okay what are you getting because like oh it was the first time ordering there and he was like uh this is what i get i was like okay it must be good you always like rave about it so let me uh let me uh get it too and it was so plain it was just like a burger cheese with buns and i think i don't know what kind of sauce he added some barbecue sauce and um oh gosh it was awful but then i tried it again this time with like lettuce tomatoes and all that jam and it was it was great i liked it captain herno keeps asking about spam have you guys had spam never no i never had <laughs> never had, i've never no. had spam i had uh those like tiny little so like they're not sausages they're like little tiny hot dogs in a can i used oh. to love those vienna sausages so oh. oh the like the ones uh, you feed to a baby Vienna sausages. <laughs> a baby yeah. yeah they have That's like a little baby baby food. Yeah. baby food yeah how what you feed hot dogs to a yeah, baby there's like little there's like little tiny like yeah hot they're, dog like, things. they're perfect for their yeah. little hands that could eat yeah, the, it uh, oh okay uh, when i think baby <laughs> i think like one years old um that's funny um yeah, that's that's my only ever cans meat that i've ever had how do you guys feel about tuna in a can i lied i, I love, love tuna, tuna. Yeah. in a can i haven't too? had it obviously yeah i don't like yeah. tuna so let me see if i could pull up this picture oh, gosh i sound i found it a long time ago uh it was like a little fishy, fishy. in a can in the tuna can and yeah, and ever since I saw that, I was just, like, grossed out by it. I don't think I'll be able to find it, but it was, like, a picture that I saw online one day where it was, like, a little fishy, and it looked cute, and it was inside. It could have been fake. I don't know, but it was inside the tuna can, and someone took a picture of it and posted it online, and I remember seeing Are that one sure day. Are you sure it wasn't sardines? Was it sardines? Uh, I, I've, seen, I've seen, like, fish in a can. That's sardines, yeah. Sardines, yeah. Let me see if I can find oh gosh, it's gonna bother me all day if I don't find it. Uh <laughs> you know how it is. Um a lot of people in the chat like spam. They're like uh spam and eggs, fried spam is great, spam is yum. Oh, I found it. Yeah, I think this is fake. Let me share my screen. Never had spam. Th this has to be fake, but let me show you nonetheless. Oops. Here we go. What the <gasps> Oh god! <laughs> yeah, so I, when I saw that, I was like, uh, no thanks. Oh, gross. I would. Ugh. That looks like a little embryo. Yeah, I was like, uh, oh yeah, God. no thanks. So when I saw that, I was like, I'm never eating a tuna ever again in my life. <laughs> yeah, but I'm I never tried that spam. That looks scary. Gross. Yeah, I never tried spam. Mm. So now I try to avoid canned food. The only time that Krista will ever be eating canned food is when a zombie apocalypse breaks out or something like that. Um, or some <laughs> other weird apocalypse. I don't know. Um, but you, you won't you won't have me eating that because I love food and I love to cook. Just think of me as ratatouille. Uh, I like I'm like that rat. Literally. Aww, Remy. Remy, thank you. Yeah, I'm like Remy. Remy. Yeah. <laughs> Seth I, says love it's that. Kirby. I love that movie. <laughs> said the little fishy in the can was kirby <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh i would have kept it and named it kirby knowing me oh god i love that movie ratatouille we need it to is. like watch ratatouille while we cook yes absolutely and like make yeah. whatever they're making like the omelet and yeah. and the soup ever had that soup i think it's called a leek soup it's really yeah, good. The cream. Good. Oh gosh, yeah. that's so delicious. Yeah, and I've always wanted to make bit like cream of potato soup. Yes, yes. Better. Oh. Yeah, I've always wanted to make what they make at the end that they serve the critic. Do you know what I'm oh, talking about? Oh, the ratatouille. About? Yeah, the ratatouille. Like, do you ever? Yeah. Did you ever try that? Yeah, I I make ratatouille. Like, I can make ratatouille. It doesn't look like that. Uh, mm -hmm. It actually looks like um, the ratatouille that the mom makes. Yeah, that's yeah, how, yeah, yeah. That's how my ratatouille looks. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. We, we <laughs> got to try that. We got to definitely try that. Uh, it's Glenn for $2. Thank you for the super chat. It says, Happy New Year's. Hope 2023 treats you ladies great. Thank you so Thank much, you. Glenn. Thanks. We appreciate that. And then we have D Day Dire Wolf for $5. Thank you, thank you, says ex of mine found a giant dead bug in canned veggies. Ugh, she bought it at Walmart. Ugh. Ooh, canned veggies. Well, if you really think about it, those, everything is 
all that stuff is canned in a factory and there's an acceptable amount of uh or what the i guess the food agency's acceptable amount of like spiders or hair or dirt yeah. that can get into your food so even can happen oh it's at the factory yeah. so they're closing it oh, oh yeah it's at the factory. Right, yeah mm-hmm. Wow. Ugh. Could, but can you just imagine opening that up and being like, oh, like just seeing it? You're just like, dang, I'm going to make this bomb Freak salad. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm the type of person where it's like, if I see a hair, like when I eat, I get turned off easily. And I mean easily. This is why I don't look at people when I eat because I don't know if someone's drooling. Oh, yeah. I don't know if something's happening because I get turned <laughs> off. I don't look at Jay. I don't look at Jeremy. I don't look at anybody. I look down at my plate and I just eat because if I see something, I know I'm not going to eat. I'd be like, it's over. It's ruined. It's done. So, yeah. I actually like watching people eat. Really? Do you Why? Watch those, uh, those videos, what are they called? The I don't, uh, no, 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 no. I mean, like, mukbangs? if I, mukbangs, no, no. I've seen some mukbangs just because, like, I don't know, there's drama surrounding the person, whatever. I've seen some. But, like, if I cook something for you, I, I like watching you, like, eat it and, like, enjoy the meal. You know, like I, I like watching people eat. No, I get that food, because food that I cook like mm-hmm. it. Yeah, I used to like cooking when I lived with my family because it would be, you know, m- more than one person eating it. But Rolo doesn't really eat anything that I cook. So I don't <laughs> cook anything anymore I because it's just like or I make very simple meals for myself because there's like no point. Because if it's not someone else enjoying it, then I don't want to do it. Yeah, I love I cooking. I think like. Uh, I yeah, me too. I was just I like watching people like enjoy their a meal, like enjoy the food that like it cooks. Well, I will say it's when I meat. when I do see someone eating, it does make me hungry. You know, like that. That's like dang, kind of like when someone's sleeping and you're just tired all of a sudden. It's the same thing. Um, but yeah, and by the way, it's not like I don't look at people when they're not eating. I was just being over exaggerated. Of course, I have. There's, <laughs> there's plenty of videos out there of me going to restaurants and fast food places. I, you know me. I just like to over exaggerate things. It's an Italian thing. Uh, Gun Home Max says Steph watches Jeremy savor each chicken nugget. No, but I have seen Jeremy. Like there, there's a video. I think it was like Ryan's. Uh, um, five. No, not five guys. In and out video. But like Jeremy takes a bite of his burger and he's just like, mm, like his eyes close <laughs> when he eats it. It's just so funny. He's like, mm, I think so it's good. Because, I think it's because he loves In and Out, and I don't think they have it in Florida, do they? Or I think it depends where. I don't know. In and Out, no. Yeah. I've never seen them. So it's just he was taking it all in when. Uh... Yeah, it's so funny. It's just like, mm. what's your favorite place? Where's your favorite place to get a burger, like fast food chain? Fast food? Five guys? Five, like guys? five guys. I don't know if I had five guys before. Yeah. They have all of like they have all the ingredients on there and then you tell them what kind of burger you want. Oh. How do you guys feel about Burger yeah. King? That's old school. I don't like Burger King. I've never liked I like Burger, Burger King. King. I remember liking it when I was a kid. Yeah. yeah. I've never liked Burger King. That was old school. Well, I'm trying to think for yeah. me because I'm not a fan of burgers personally. Uh, my... yeah, ne- neither am I. Oh, yeah, I Water burger. burgers. Water burger. I never tried. Yeah, water Alex burger. McCarthy said water burger. Oh, oh hello, water Alex. So good. What's up, Alex? Yeah, I have to try hey. five things. Um. Yeah, I, you know, being from this is so funny that like everybody likes water burger. Water burger. Water burger is definitely, I, in my opinion, better than five guys just because like i feel like five guys burger they just don't have any flavor and neither do their fries um but at the same time i don't like whataburger either because their burgers are like huge they're like the size of my head they're gigantic and they're so heavy oh my gosh what it's are they like, yeah. i will say like being canadian of course obviously this is a given but like <laughs> being in america it's like oh my gosh there's so much food the portions are huge but i love it because it's like you're getting a lot for what you're paying for um definitely don't have that back here uh but yeah it's just I, yeah. gosh i go crazy with the amount of food that they have there i'm trying yeah to and s- whatever you don't eat you could take home exactly mm-hmm. exactly well oh, yeah. i remember when i traveled in california like i was like because like my hotel was like it didn't really have like a big fridge so every time i ate out um i would just 
whenever I was done eating, I would just give, uh, pack it up and give it to like a homeless person because there were, I couldn't believe how many homeless people were in California. It was crazy. It's insane. Look, we have Ryan Kinnell in chat. <laughs> Imagine complaining about getting too much food. I didn't complain. I said it was amazing. So I don't know what you're talking about. But yeah, I, I enjoyed it, of course. And I can't wait to try it some more. Just... I, I got to try Five Guys, Whataburger, all of that, because I don't know. So I guess my favorite place to get a burger would be, and I know it's so basic, but McDonald's, because that's the only place I had a burger, really. Yeah, I'm curious. I haven't watched their I food tier video in a while. Let me see. Where did they rate McDonald's? They rated it high because... Was it like an S tier? Didn't, didn't they rate it like an S tier? It was pretty high. I was actually surprised because of how much variety they had, I guess. And the fact that most of the time it's pretty good. I'm going to have to go back and watch that because if it if they did put it S tier, I'm just going to have to just own it. Not everything is about you, Krista. <laughs> I was freaking talking, Ryan. I was the one talking here when you showed up. So shut your dumb Whoa, Krista. Oh, oh, you heard that. Yeah. You oh, heard that. Dude. She's going off. She used some words. Get out of here, Ryan Kennel. Wow. There you go. Oh, yeah. People are saying S tier. Yeah, disowned. S tier. Disowned. Yeah, I the like guys their, um, did do. Ice creams. I like their ice cream. They did do a food tier video. Where did they get the tier list? Ooh. You got roast beef. Oh, this is Arby's. Arby's. Arby's is gross. I like Arby's. Never had it. I think Arby's is gross. Never had it. I've but never the, eaten it either, but their burgers Arby's look gross. It's just a lot of, like, meat. It looks gross. Yeah, it's roast beef. Yeah, it, it's gross. <laughs> you, is it just the roast beef that's gross, or is it just, like, the way it looks or the way it looks all of their food looks gross look at that that looks gross look at the cheese on it oh yeah no i had arby's yeah, it was disgusting no peaches yeah arby's just looks nasty Ugh. that's Is it because it doesn't have any vegetables on it maybe it's just Ooh. all meat and cheese looks gross <laughs> rogue attraction says cake milkshakes mm. that's not food though that's the drink but you have to rate the whole experience mm -mm. it looks gross look at jay's face <laughs> look at jeremy's face <laughs> i mean they're all just yeah yeah the rb's gross hi looks gross what, the hell, man? Like what is this the next only thing that i did like there was the it's bk stackers burger. oh this is burger king Burger King's gross too. Does anyone have a mouth that's big enough to eat four burgers like that? Or do they like, like realistically, like do you have to like cut it or smush it? Because that just seems like unrealistic. Like a stacked burger like that? Yeah. That just seems like you'd have to like. Like, like basically. Hinge unhinge your jaw like a snake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, Captain Hero. Yeah, this, I think that's just one of those that you kind of work your way into. Yeah, I just like take bites so. around it, and it's kind of, like pointless. Just have a normal or like have multiple burgers at that point. I don't know. That's just yeah. That's that's too much burger. Yeah, it is. Captain Hero for two dollars. As a McDonald's worker for eight plus years, it's F tier, Ryan. No, oh. it's not F tier. Wait, F tier is bad. You work at McDonald's. Well, I, I feel like the the if you know the background or how things are made, then it's gonna ruin it for you for sure. That's what I was about to say. Like. I know it's pink slime and chemicals and bad, bad, bad meat, but it's good. Tastes good. If you don't tell me what it is, I'll eat it. <laughs> Krista ate a lot of chicken nuggets one time. How many? Like 100? No, I ordered 500, but I didn't eat them all. <laughs> I think I would have died if I ate 100, to be honest with you. I can barely eat 20. I have to take breaks. Cause I don't eat full meals. I uh, I split them up. Yeah, you pick. Do you pick at your food? I tr yeah, I do pick at my food, but I don't. I don't eat it all. Like unless it's like my favorite favorite meals, like steak. But yeah, that's true. Krista can put away a steak. 
She once ate her steak and my steak. <laughs> That's true, yeah. I was like, are you going to eat that? put away steak. Yeah. <laughs> I was already full and Chris was like, mmm. Yeah, I was I like, steak. Don't, don't tell me you're leaving this here. <laughs> <laughs> I ate it all. Actually, uh, uh, Tony from Real World Tactical, he was even surprised. So it was me, Jay, and him. We went to go eat at this really nice steakhouse, and he was even surprised how much I was able to eat. He's like, dang, you put a dent in that. This is coming from, like, a dude that, like, trains and, like, eats this stuff, like, a lot. And seeing, like, a five foot one Canadian girl just eat it all, he was just amazed. I mean, steak is pretty good, so. It is pretty good. Have you ever had a porterhouse? A porterhouse? What is that? Porter a, por house. a porterhouse steak. Uh, explain what that is. It's a big ass steak, basically. <laughs> you, uh, does it is it like a T bone? The big boy. Oh, I can't remember. It's been a minute. Hold on. What's that one steak? It's called, I think, tomahawk. Is that what it's called? Is am I right? It's like on a on a bone. Yeah. Like oh, yeah, that. yeah. That's a tomahawk. I've always wanted to try that. And, oh, gosh, what's that other one that's highly expensive? I keep forgetting the name of it every time I talk about steak. It starts with a Kobe? W. No. Oh, way, way, you. Way, yeah, you. way, way. Why you, way, you be? Yeah, that. It's, like, insane, insanely expensive. Um, I've always wanted to try that. But uh, I can only afford a T-bone, so I'm, I'm okay with that. Ribeye. Is it a ribeye? B. Carswell? What up, B. Carswell? Wagyu. 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 Wagyu beef? Did I say that right? Wagyu beef. Everyone's saying it. Thank I you. I haven't tried Wagyu yet. No? Yeah, neither have I. But I do want to try it. I've heard it's really good. Yeah. All right. Well, let's see. Here, um, let's do this. Oh, gosh. Okay. Are you ready? Can we please put So we have the, the best, best B, C, D, F, and never had. There's a never had category. Okay. <clears throat> Let's just put Jack in the box. Wait, Wait a minute. What? Yeah. We'll, we'll start with the first one, which is A and W. Yeah. A and W. What's A and W again? I like A. What those root beer? There's yeah. A there's yeah, like it, it, it has its own restaurant too. too. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I've had it, so no, never had. I'll just put in never had. Arby's is gross. Gross, F. I like Arby's. I wish I never had it. <laughs> never had it. That's just because <laughs> their meat looks like Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Arby's is gross. I put it in F. What's ba uh, Badja Fresh? Baja Fresh? I've no I don't know what that is. That sounds like a taco place. I've never had it. Mexican Grill. Have I haven't had it. No, never had no, it. No, I, I, I haven't is heard Blimpy? of it. Is that a sub place? I don't know. No, I think so. I, I know I've heard of it. Right? I've heard of it, but I've never actually seen one. Me either. Okay, never had it. Is this oh, Bojangles? Bojangles. Bojangles. Yeah, chicken and biscuits. Uh, Bojangles isn't good. Is I've it never is? had it, so what would y'all rate it? Mm -mm. I'd, put, I'd put it there. Never had. Yes. Oh. I, 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 we have we have them. Biscuit. I gotta try. We these. have them all over the place, and they're not good. <laughs> I don't. This like is them. like taking notes. Yeah. Um, Boston Market. I don't know what that is. No. Boston Market. Boston Market is the best. Huh? <laughs> I was confused. You're lying. You've never had it. Yes. No, I've had it. Okay. So look. Oh, okay. See, it's like so it's like. Okay. So. Obviously, I haven't had the chicken, but I like their mac and cheese, and they have like basically it's like Thanksgiving every day, so it's like oh, fast Where would food you Thanksgiving. It? So I would give it like a like a D or a C, just because I can't rate the meat, but it's nice being able to go and get like sweet potatoes and mac and cheese and cornbread. Maybe a C. I'll put it in C. Okay, a C. Wow, I gotta go there. Burger yeah. King. Burger King. I would put it at a D. Same. That's that's fair. Yeah, D. Raisin canes. Ugh. Raisin canes is good. F. I, I love never, raisin canes. I have never had it. Yeah, raisin canes. I haven't had it awesome. either. There's nothing for you to get there, Joe. It's all chicken. 
<laughs> yeah, it is. That's all it is, is chicken. Well, look, I will say this. Maybe it's because I had a bad experience. Um, because the one that I went to, the breading was falling off of the chicken when I was grabbing it. Like, you know how sometimes, like, the breading falls apart? That's exactly what was happening mm -hmm. in mine. It was just a hot mess. So I didn't like it. Oh, did you eat the one that we had at the studio? No. Oh. No. I like raising canes. Maybe we'll, yeah. uh, I'll put it a C. A C. Mm -hmm. Carl's Jr. Never, Never had, had it. it. That's a California. It's thing. basically Hardee's. Did you say it's basically, it's basically Arby's? Hardee's. What's no, Hardee's? not Arby's. Hardee's. I don't know what Hardee's is either. Oh my gosh. Hardee's <laughs> is okay. So okay sounds like a D. A D. Yeah. <laughs> checkers. I like checkers. No, oh no, checkers checkers is like I'd, it's solid. Like I'd put it. I put it B. Checkers. Their fries alone. I was gonna yeah. say the fries are. Chick-fil-A's the best. Chick-fil-A's the best. Yeah, Chick <laughs> Yay! Yeah, I don't know what checkers is. I never had. I never had that. I don't like checkers. Is good. I like it. What? Why? Why? How do you not what? like it? What part of it do you not like? The chicken itself. I I can't rate it, but everything else is amazing. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I mean, it's you don't it's like okay. their fries. Maybe is it their fries? No, I actually do like the fries. Then it's the chicken. I mean, is it too, it's it's is it too okay. Is like it, too it. I mean, the peanut oil is like. Yes, that's what it is. It's too healthy. That's sarcasm. <laughs> you guys like chipotle? <laughs> yeah, I, I like it. Yes, I like chipotle. It's not like boom, but like it's good. <laughs> I'll put it at a B or C. Yeah. I don't like Chipotle. What about you? It's because Siobhan, you're Siobhan. Mexican. No, I don't like Chipotle. <laughs> How about a C? I'll put it at a C. C I'm works. fine with that. Okay. Church's chicken. Uh, I like Church's. Never had it. Never had it. Trash I, it. I remember having it when I was young. Trash it. If? No, don't trash it. <laughs> <laughs> You want a D? I do like churches. <laughs> yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> it's it's not that it's like it's not like it's like so like really good. <laughs> but their their honey biscuits, their honey butter biscuits are really good. <laughs> so like, there's a, so I have a true story. It's like no. <laughs> so I have a true story about Church's chicken. So Rolo uh, took me to Puerto Rico one time when I think this is the trip that when we got engaged many years ago. And we went on this uh, this tour, like uh, a scuba diving tour to see sea turtles. Steph, you should probably go on this Ooh. tour one day. It was amazing. So it was just the three couples and the tour guides that were also husband and wife. So I could tell that one of the couples was very uh, well-to-do, rich, snooty. So she was asking the tour guide where she should go to have chicken. Sorry, not chicken. Breakfast, a good traditional um, breakfast that she would recommend on the island. So deadpan, the tour guide goes, Church's Chicken has the best breakfast on Puerto Rico, in Puerto Rico Island. And the, um, the rich wife was just like, oh, okay, we will try this Church's Chicken. So I was trying not to laugh, but. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All right. Cookout. Apparently. I've never tried cookout. Nope. Never had it. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. We have a bunch around here, but I've never been there. Oh, okay. Culver's. Culver's is good. Uh, if you ask Roland, uh, it's the best. No, that's not, I hate it. I've had, I've had chicken there. It's like a C. I, mm. I haven't had it. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah. What about Del Taco? Never had. Never had it. Never had it. Del Taco is pretty okay. Is it You like than... church's chicken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I didn't say it was good. I'll give Del Taco an F. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying it's okay. Is it better or worse than Taco Bell? It's better than Taco Bell. I love Denny's. Yeah. It's always open. I like Denny's too. Denny's B. Yeah, it's better than B. Domino's Pizza. Mm. I like Domino's. I like Domino's. Domino's. B. 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 I C. put a B. B. C. I'll definitely eat Domino's over uh anything else. Over Papa John's. Mm -hmm. How I, about Dairy Queen? I love Dairy Queen. Dairy, yeah. Ice cream, ice cream, ice cream. 
BBB. El Pollo Loco. No. <laughs> Never had it. Rolo's in the chat uh, having a heart attack that calls it a C-tier. <laughs> yep, better believe it. Kirk Palmer's, uh, yeah, yeah. This is the girls' list. Yep. Uh, Firehouse Subs. I've never had Firehouse Subs. No. It's good. It's good? It's, it's better than it's better than Subway. Better than, where would you rank it? Mm, I don't know. We'll go... Let's, we'll do C. How about that? C. Because I don't have a very high opinion of Subway. Five Guys. Ooh, Five Guys is the best. I'll I give it. A, I would <laughs> give it a B. Mm. I've never had it. Five Guys is good. You I love I hop. I hop. I love I hop. I hop. Yeah. I hop. I Beer, hop. I hop. The best. Yeah, the best. The they best. have everything there. They always change up the menu. Oh no, no, it's not the best. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's always it's late. Than Denny. It's always open it's so late. Den yeah. It gets extra points for being open at two a.m. <laughs> what oh, about okay. In and Out Burger? I haven't had it. It's all right. B, maybe B. It's just okay. Yeah, maybe okay. B or C. B or C. Mm. Wherever you want to place it. <laughs> Siobhan? I haven't had it, so I, I couldn't oh. have it. Um, um, let me get to these super chats. Alex McCarthy for $2 says, Texas Lost State's Whataburger is A. Mm. That's true. That is Texas law. Never had it. Mm -hmm. And then we have Buford T. Justice with 1999. Thank you so much. My goodness. <laughs> says Five Guys Best Burger Place. Oh, no. What happened? We have we have a guest. We have a guest. Uh-oh. And I don't think he likes what we're doing. I know what it's going to be about now. Yeah. No! Get Culver's. Out of here. No. Culver's at sea. No, no, Culver's no. at sea. This is why you don't let women run in streams. Out. Ryan was right. Ryan was right. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Ryan was right. I am so tired of this. You guys, no, you don't even get to speak if if McDonald's None. is S tier. Okay. Yeah, yeah. McDonald's is S tier. How dare you? Nancy. Culver's. It is never a C. Never. <sighs> yes, it is. I am offended. I am Good, I'm be about offended. to get blue hair. Good. I'm about to get blue hair and gain about 800 pounds. Start screaming on Twitter. <laughs> Cancel <laughs> Geeks and Gamers. Cancel. Yeah, I'm going to put in and out at C tier too. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I just want to come in here. Great, Great job, <laughs> ladies. Great job, ladies. Thank you. Uh, of ruining, ruining everything I've built. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> putting Culver's at C. Uh, no, but anyway, I uh, hope you guys had a good stream. We're about to get ready for uh, Fortnite yep. over on play, so we'll we'll send I'll, you. Uh, I'll see we'll, all of you a little later. So we'll raid y'all later. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. All bye right. Bye. All right. Bye. Bye bye. 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 He had to make his feelings known. What about Jack in the Box? Oh, did I have Jack, Jack in the Box? The, didn't Jack in the Box kill yeah. some kid like from what? July poisoning back in the? Oh, 80s? that's right. He it yeah. did. Yeah, it was a Jack in the Box burger. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah, I would so. put Jack in the Box as like a D tier. It Another gave, jersey might. It gave Jade the poopies. Ew. He had it, and then he was like, "I have to go to the bathroom." <laughs> 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 I've never had these three. Jersey Mike's. No. What is that? Jimmy John's and Jolie B. Nope. I've had Jersey Mike's. I actually liked the veggie sub they have. It's okay. Where would you put it? I would give it like a D. A D. How about Jimmy John's? Never had it. I haven't had it either. No, no, I have. Uh, if you say you never my, had it, then I, it is very my, forgettable. Yeah, it. Yeah, I was gonna say it's. Pro this might upset some people because I've I've heard a lot of people really really love it, but I put it F. F. What about that's Jolie? just me. I've never even seen a Jollibee. I don't know what. I don't know is. what it is. Meh. KFC. F tier, awful. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I I really I can't love believe we have churches over KFC. <laughs> They're both really bad, though. No idea. I mean, the chicken, their chicken uh, at churches is better than KFC. I'll die I on that know. hill. I don't know. I haven't had churches since I was a child. All right, Little Caesars. Um, I never had it. I've only had it once. 
Like, like my it, brother brought I home it, like one of those five dollar boxes, five dollar pizzas. I'd probably put it either D, like no more than C, but probably D. Like it's Little Caesars is there when you when you need it. <laughs> Little Caesars is convenient and it's like five dollar pizza. You can't go wrong with that. But it's not you're not getting it because it's like you really love Little Caesars. You know, it's like I've got a pizza party and twenty five kids to feed. Little Caesars. You know. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. We okay, have Long John Silvers. We have a super chat from Objectively a Cat for two dollars. Thank you. Says <gasps> January sixth approaches. That's true. It's on That's Friday. True. Get ready. Yeah, January sixth. I didn't have that. Long John. Yeah, I didn't have that food with the fish on it. I don't know what that is. Yeah, Long John Silvers is like fast food fish. Ugh. Ew. That doesn't sound healthy. Like no. fish is not something you should skimp on. I'm gonna put on F. McDonald's. B. I like McDonald's. A B. Yeah, B. It's not the best. It's not A. That's good. Moe's. What is that? Moe's. Moe's South... is good. Moe's is good. I like Moe's. No. Yeah, I like Moe's. Where would y'all rank it? Moe's. Uh, me? I'd put it B. B. Mm. Noodles. Noodles! B. Never had it. <laughs> I just, I'm You're putting just it... putting it on B? Yeah, because it's noodles. It's noodles. <laughs> you, you've never had it. I know, but it's noodles. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's probably, let me look. It's probably a ramen shop. Let me see. Noodles. Yeah. What does it say? I love ramen. Company? All right. What? What? Noodles Company. Noodles and Company. That's what it says. Uh, oh, it's, it's uh, sorry. Let me say it the way. It, pasta. It's pasta. It's mac and cheese. It's, is it like um what's the one that's like a drive through Italian place that uh, uh Fazoli's? Yeah. Fazoli's. I actually like Fazoli's. Eh. Oh, is that the one where Fizzoli's. Ryan went to and yep. got Yeah, that's where Ryan got all upset. Yeah. I, I have to try that. I don't I know. It's not the best, but it's definitely like I think it's like a novelty because they don't have any by where I used to live. So when I would see one, I'd get like, oh super excited. Mm. Fazoli's breadsticks are really good though. Yes, they're so good. Yes. I've never had them. Uh, Panda Express. I would do a C. I like it. Yeah, C. F for me. C? Well, probably D, but C. Okay, sure. Panera Bread. I've never eaten there. No. Really? It depends yeah. what you get. Like, their new pizza they have is god-awful, but I like their, like, little bowls that have, like, healthy stuff in it, like quinoa and beans and stuff, like Ooh. the Mediterranean. Like, some yeah. stuff is good. Some stuff's good. Some stuff's Where would you good. rank it, Joe? Maybe like C. Panera. Papa John's. I can't. F. What's up? Never <gasps> had it. Ooh. I hate F. I don't like Papa John's. That's pizza? F. I have That's never pizza. liked Papa John's. I don't I just don't I don't like the I don't like the, the dough that they use. Mm. I don't like their sauce. It tastes sweet. I like sweet. P D Yeah, P that too. But PDQ I'm, is very good. I don't know what that is. It's um, it's like a higher, like higher quality nuggies for you. Oh, Ooh. like where would you are we rank talking it, Chick Fil A level? Mm, not as good. Well, I don't know. It's different. Um, it has really good milkshakes too, oh. and it has like different. So uh, I would say yeah, I would say probably B B are the best. One of those. B. What is Penn Station East Coast Stubs? I don't live in Penn State, so I don't know. It's on the East Coast. Yeah. I don't know. Never had it. Pizza Hut. Oh, my gosh. I like Pizza Hut, like Pizza Hut wings. D. Bye. D. Yeah. Joe? I remember Pizza... Yeah, no. B yeah, D is right. I remember... I remember Pizza Hut being so much better when I was a kid. Yeah. That's what I was talking about. You had these great memories of childhood. And That's true. You try them when you're older and it's not as good. Because yeah, your taste buds are like, different. Uh, this pizza that I used to go to, they had like this little like game room, like an arcade in it. That was kind of mm -hmm. cool. Like a playroom, yeah. Like McDonald's. Yeah. Lu uh, Popeye's chicken. I love Popeye's. I like it. I think I would rate it like either a B or a C. Yeah. yeah I like Popeye's. Which one? Probably a B. B. Yeah. B. Yeah, it's good. Portillo's. I don't know what that is. These, I don't know. Uh, These three. Tom is talking about Portillo's in the chat, so he's he's vouching for it. 
I never had it. But I've never, never had it. I've never had it. You gotta we take never a had time. it, Tom. Take a stare. Yeah, we never had it. Pop belly. I don't know yeah. what that is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Qdoba. Is that how you do it? Qdoba? Yeah, it's Qdoba. I don't I've know. heard good things. I haven't had it. Never had it. Quiznos. Mm, no, no. I've never had it either. It's like a better version of Subway, <laughs> right? Oh. Have you had it? I don't think so. Have you had it, Siobhan? No, I haven't. Um... We, we don't. We I think we have one around here, but I just never went to one. Did we run out of space on Never Had? It looks it. Roy <laughs> Rogers. Yeah, Never Had. It's uh, <laughs> Roy Rogers. I've never had. No. Nope. I had Roy Rogers as a kid, and it was a better version of KFC, but still pretty KFC like. Mm. So we so put I, it in KFC category. Where's KFC? Yeah, put it next to KFC. Yeah. Okay. S Baro. That's pizza. Sabaro is Sabaro. Yeah. Like mall S-Baro. pizza. Mall yes. pizza. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's okay. It's, it's like you're hungry uh, and be- you you have nothing else to eat, but you want pizza. Yeah. <laughs> it is mo it is most definitely better than Pizza Hut. Okay, so C. Yeah. Schlotzkis. I like Schlotzkis. No, no. Is that high. Greek? What is it? What kind of food? No, it's is a it? deli. Oh, it's a deli. I don't know what that is. Schlotzkis. I like. I'll put it at C. I kind of like Schlotzkis. The Shake Shack. Awful. Didn't we eat there? Depends on which one. I've had it twice. One time was good, and the other time was awful. So I'm gonna go with. Did, my opinion. Didn't we? Didn't eat we there? go there when we were in Boston? I don't remember. No, not Boston. It was Orlando. We ate at the Shake Shack in Orlando. I. Oh, uh, maybe not. So Are you, you sure? Never, you, never, you I want to say it was Boston. Okay, so wait, Steph. Well, so at least, a, at least that I remember. Remember stuff that place where we all went out and we were on gosh where was it it's like kind of like the strip of Orlando and they have like all of these yes. restaurants yes and, and yes. that day That's by Icon Park yeah what did was that Shake Shack we had that day everything is breaded oh you remember that mac and cheese I had I was like oh my gosh yeah was it Shake, was Shack? Shake Shack I, I anyways that restaurant they had nothing that was unbreaded like literally like literally everything was bre- it, it, i think you're right it's breaded yeah. and deep fried oh my gosh yeah f f what is sheets <laughs> well uh sheets with an accent. <laughs> we got a super chat uh pennsylvania law states that sheets is a tier what is that though <laughs> what is that name i don't know what sheets is I've seen the name. I just haven't been there. Okay, we had. We don't know it. We've never had it. Yeah, we don't. Skyline. I don't know what Skyline is. Never had it. I don't know what that is. Sonic. I like I Sonic. I don't like Sonic. I don't know if I've had it. I don't think so. Sonic is. It. It's a drive-through, like where yeah, you Sonic park. Sonic is 19- kind of just. Eh. Yeah, yeah 1950s style. I'm. I mean, I like them because they just have tater. Like, there's. Tots. Grilled cheese and tater tots, and that's just so random that I like it. So, I mean, it's probably not the best quality, but how about like C tier? Yeah, I would go with C tier. Okay. Sh- um, uh, Captain steak and- steaks. Oh, that's good. The best. Uh, Captain Haruna for two dollars says, "Put Taco Bell in F to make Ryan mad." No, no, no. I love Taco Bell though, so we're we're, <laughs> we're gonna see where we're gonna put that. Uh, I I like Subway, but it's not like bomb. Yeah. I don't. I don't really like Subway. I'm not I don't. Okay. I don't really like Subway. I, yeah, I don't. I don't care for it. I mean, it's okay, but it's just okay. What about D? Yeah, I'd put. Yeah. By the way, I I only okay. said steak and shake the best because I heard steak. So I don't know. <laughs> Swenson's. I, I don't know what Swenson's. that is. Never it's like had a, it. a friendlies. It's like a friendlies. There used to be one in front of my school. And I never ate the food there. I just had fries and ice cream. And I would put the fries in my ice cream. Just delicious. I do that at Wendy's. Ooh, yeah. like milkshake? Ooh. Yeah. So throw it somewhere in the middle because I, I can't vouch for the food. But the ice cream was great. D. Mm. Taco Bell. Yay! I would put Taco Bell. Ugh. You had it. I'd put I put it ordered. C. I know. No, no C. B. Yeah, I, I'm so basic at Taco Bell. Like, I just get the like the regular tacos. That's it. Like the cheese. I like the Mexican, Mexican pizza. Tacos. The Mexican pizza is bomb. It's Never so good. had it. But the, oh gosh, what's it called? Um, 
the crunchy gordia crunchy gordia crunch whatever the heck you call it i that's yeah. what i get yeah cheesy gordia crunch or something yeah that's what i get bomb as long as you understand yeah, I get the, it's not yeah i get the cheesy Mexican gordita crunches food, too it's okay. i know yeah i have to block it out of my mind how about b tier yeah, okay B-tier. i'm okay with that B-tier. okay taco cabana never had it nope no, I've had it. They have them here. I like their breakfast tacos, and that's about it. That's it. Just like breakfast tacos. That's the only time you should ever go to Taco Cabana. <laughs> um, but I'll put it at C. What is Torchy's tacos? Have you guys had Torchy? No. Never. I like the name. Yeah. Uh, no, I've never had it. Waffle House. No. So, waffle. yeah, like I was excited going because waffles, but it's sticky. Ew. Like the floor? Yeah. The floor. <laughs> no, I'm not, ta- I'm not just talking about the floors. I just mean that like. Like everything. Every well, surface. No, because look, when, when you go to IHOP or Denny's and you like order waffles, like they present it to you in such like a beautiful way. But the presentation at Waffle House is very F tier. So, yeah, I don't like it. Um. Yeah, I won't argue with F. No, I won't either. What's a Wawa? Oh, that's like Wawa a is a convenient. gas station. Yeah, convenience store. Yes. I like it. Okay, so I've had a couple things at Wawa, and I'm not... I, I mean, it's it's not bad if you have in mind it's a gas station. Yeah. So. Gas station food. Yes. I feel like all gas station food would be like a D tier, but what do you guys say? I'd probably say D. D. But I just, I get so excited because I'm like, you know, it's convenient. What about Wendy's? I don't like I don't Wendy's. Like Wendy's. I re- their food just sits out. Yeah, Wendy's. I like their Frosties yeah, when the is... Frosty machine is working. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <it>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, those are good, but I, I don't typically eat the food. It makes you feel like blit. Mm-hmm. And the calories, mm. oh my gosh, don't look. D? Yeah, you could put it at D. What about Whataburger? Never State had. law says that I'm required to put it at the best, but I personally think that the food at Whataburger is like super heavy. Mm. But is it good? It's good, but it's it, just heavy. It's, good, like, it's so much food. But it's good, yeah. I would give it a B. I mean, it's good, it's, but it's, it's just so yeah. heavy. Uh, White Castle. I've never had White Castle. Never had no. it. I haven't had it either. Okay. I've only seen the movie. <laughs> uh, what is that? Does that say Wiener? Wiener Schnitzel. Wiener Schnitzels. That's a hot <laughs> dog place. That's a hot dog place, right? It has to be. I don't know what that is, but I laugh at that word. I don't know. Why is it so funny that word? Wiener Schnitzel. Wiener Schnitzel. It's got the word sh- wiener in it. Yeah, but <laughs> Schnitzel. It's funny. I never had it. Uh, wings. Oh, we this just says go wings. Oh, what's is that it, wing is place? It wing that, stop? What's that wing? No, place? wing stop is next to it. This just says wings. What's that? Uh oh, the wing place that Ryan ordered from that we ate in Orlando. You remember at the house? Uh, Buffalo Wild Wings. I, I oh, that's not on this, or is it? Okay, no, I never had wings. Never had wings. Wing stop. No, never had. It. Never had. I don't like wing stop. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna put it it's F, F because yeah, it's F. <laughs> Wingstop is an F. Zaxby's. I do like Zaxby's. I love Zaxby's though. Yeah, Never I like had. Zaxby's. I like it better than Culver's. Never had. <laughs> How can you have Wawa on this list but not have the place that has the beaver? What yeah. is the beaver one that? Oh yeah, Bucky's. 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 <laughs> Bucky's needs to be on this list instead yeah. of Wawa. I agree. Or Seven Eleven too, if you're gonna include Wawa. Uh. Siobhan, would you say that Zaxby's is better than Culver's? Well, I have never had Culver's, so I don't know. Oh, I think Zaxby's is better than Culver's. I'm putting it B. Wow, so the and best, are back the and best is Chick-fil-A. Let's go. Yay. And IHOP. That's our list. <laughs> Together. Yeah, we've we've never had a lot I'm, of I'm food. still a little I'm yeah. still a little bitter about IHOP being in the best category though. <laughs> <laughs> it make you feel better if we put a B. Yeah, we should put it at B. I got too excited because yeah. I'm thinking about pancakes. <laughs> so the best is Chick Fil A. So what's yeah, your favorite Chick-fil-A sauce at Chick Fil A? I like the Chick Fil A sauce. 
I like the Polynesian. Chick-fil-A, yeah. Um, there's another sauce that I really like, but I forget what it's called. It's orange, orangey sauce. Um, and what's what do you get there usually when you go to Chick-fil-A? I always get the mac and cheese and a side salad with the avocado lime ranch. Mm. And then a brownie. Mm. Ooh, I didn't know they had brownies. Mm. Oh my god, they're so good. They have brownies there? Yes. I have to try have brownies them. and cookies. <gasps> yes. Oh my gosh. This is a game changer. I gotta go. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I get the little, the little nuggets mm -hmm. or the spicy chicken sandwich. Ooh. And their breakfast is good too. I think I've tried their breakfast. I've never had their breakfast. Oh, it's so good. Their hash browns are very good. Do they serve it with biscuits? Like... When you get yes, like a meal, um, nice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh wait, I think I did have it. Then. Have yeah, in an airport, but airport food is different. So, um, yeah, it's not the same level. I get the nuggets as well, of course. I feel like eight isn't enough. It's eight and twelve, I think, because they're so small. It's not like uh, McDonald's chicken nuggets where they're a little larger. It's like little little nuggets. So I always have to go for two boxes because one's not enough. Um. And I don't really eat, I, I do like their fries, but I'm not really a big uh, fry person. I know, except McDonald's, that's the only one. But yeah, I usually just eat all the nuggets and leave the fries to the birds. <laughs> and that's our list. And that's our list. That's our list. Um, all right, guys, this has been fun. I think we're going to wrap it up here. This has been another great girl stream. Oh, by the way, chat, what do you think of the background? The nice pink background that you see. Shout out to Jay Hailstorm for working on that. We now have a girls one. We have the starting soon that you guys saw in the beginning. And we're going to show yeah. you the ending here soon. Um, but go check out the guys. They're now playing Fortnite. I believe it's uh, Rolo, Jeremy, and I think, I don't know who else is the, I think Josiah and Beardo. I'm not quite sure. But I might hop on there just to say hello. Um, so go check them out. That's on Geeks and Gamers Play. Uh, mods, please drop a link in chat. And other than that, guys, thank you so much for the support, the donations, for being here, for laughing with us. And we want to personally thank Brie Larson for showing up herself. <laughs> I know her schedule is so busy. Um, but yeah, that was pretty awesome. And uh, let us know in chat, too, in the comments, if anyone watches the replay, what games you guys would like us to to play because we're going to be switching it up every week it's not going to be the same yeah. games we're going to switch it up at least that's the plan that we want to do but yeah thank you all so much and we'll see you all in the next one goodbye everybody bye good night bye bye, bye.